Here's your drainable house wrap. These little bumps on it. It drains better, of course, but as you can see, it still traps moisture around the fasteners. So this is right at three hours from when I first tested it. As you can see, it still trapped the moisture, especially around the fasteners. It really hasn't even went down that much up there, down there, and that's actually soaked through the paper. The actual Tyvek house wrap still soaked pretty well. This is why you need a rain screen. And then you see the FM3, pretty much just a couple drops on the paper. That'll dry off real quick as you get the airflow coming through there. With this, you can't get any airflow. Okay, so we're right at 20 hours from the time we started the test. As you can see, the Tyvek is actually drying out pretty decent, but the drainage house wrap has trapped the moisture right at the fasteners. Okay, we're right here at 26 hours, and the Tyvek is almost dry as you're seeing. But see the uh, drainable house wrap here. It's still trapped, and what I think what's happened is it soaked all the way through the house wrap, which isn't a good deal because if you have OSB behind there, that means that OSB's moisture level is gonna go above 21%. You're gonna start having uh, mold issues. It doesn't look like this is gonna dry very soon either, but just imagine if it kept raining. Now this was just, a test was just performed with literally about a half a cup on this section and a half a cup on the FM3. Just imagine if it kept raining. And the water, when it comes down, it spreads out. With a rain screen, it just comes down, then the air dries it out. Which one do you want, that or this?